in this video we'll cover a lot uh, starting with uh, adding a label for the floor plan let's create the symbol starting with the circle and want to have object snap um, and center checked so when you draw a line it starts from center of the circle and then center of the circle line um, up and intersection to intersection and extend the line now we, we need another um, font or font to style, text style family we'll give a name as title and the height it's about 10 inches later I change it to 8 inches because it was a little big but it's in this demo let's start with single line font and it's plan and we need I'm changing it here, 8 it does not reflect the change so applying the this style again then it changed let's add the uh, scale information um, instead of adding new style we're going to just copy and the scale down scale quarter inch equal to one foot and select scale and then base point it's about 0.5 looks fine and then here is a model space and paper space uh, it shows in the tab different tab so layout one is in paper space uh, and this is how it looks when you paint a uh, plot and let's exit out go to model space let's start um, with uh, let's add the um, the solid hatch for the the walls and then let's position the drawing a little bit better in the paper space and make sure the scale is one uh, quarter inch scale and this let's look at the space if we have enough space top and the right size for elevation and section we need lines from the floor plan to draw elevation and let's to you to use wall layer because that's what we are starting with and then using offset the ceiling height is 8 feet and extend We will trim the extended lines later because it's elevation, but for now it works. And let's see if we can add a symbol for elevation. We don't have it here, so we need to either create one or download and use the ones already made. So here is what we are going to use. And you can find this file in our shared OneDrive folder. So once you have that uh, symbol downloaded, then you can insert that in the location where you have all these symbols and from insert or this is design center um, when you find that symbol you just download it and it's there in the library you can click and drag and drop it's there but you don't see it then you need to do zoom all or zoom extent z enter a enter 
and then make it much smaller and then move it into the, the apartment or the floor plan. It's still too big. Make it 0.5. Um, okay, and rotate and explode it. You can do X enter to apply explode and then add the uh, alphabet A and we are going to make everything white default layer okay so that's the elevation we are creating and label will be elevation A and I'm going to just uh, show quickly show how to um, draw windows but you can add the furniture, whatever you see uh, from the the A uh, symbol is located from that point to the the wall. Okay. Exact measurement is not important. Um, I mean the height measurements are not important. So don't do not waste your time trying to figure out the window seal height. The desks and counter they are not at the same height but um, in this demo I made them all same height. And then trim trim. Or you can delete. Trim, trim. And everything should be furniture layer. Okay. And let's add another window. And then taking the line from the floor plan. And then we need to I've used fillet or you can use also the control point. Okay. Now I'm going to use hedge which means a thinnest line to create the line for the window sill window frame to make the drawing look more sophisticated. You don't have to do this, but you know, devil lives in the, the detail. It will look noticeably better if you have this detail. And then with the trim. Okay, enough for elevation, uh, except for one minor thing. There's another million there. and change the the line inside the window frame very thin okay now let's create section we need the section symbol first section symbols are so simple you don't have to look for uh, ready-made symbols you can create one as is this and I thought I changed the layer to zero Maybe I did okay and then this is um, this solid area or hatched block indicates the direction of the section so the section we're going to do um, B so it's going to be section B there is an error I'm going to zoom and clean up uh, okay and then just copy the alphabet and change uh, using editing 
and then rotate and then position it better now section is very similar to elevation especially its interior drawing I'm removing all these dimension lines so you I'm not asking you to have dimension lines for this exercise so it's okay if you do not have ex uh, you know, dimensions because in the end the drawing you are submitting will be to scale quarter inch scale and anyone can measure it using architect scale but normally it's a uh, um, all the you know, plans and drawing elevation section drawings uh, you should provide dimension okay so elevation you don't show um, the extended line in from the floor plan a floor line and ceiling line but section you do and you also need to show the section cut up the walls whatever the section plane is cutting and you will also show the wall if it's the interior wall or partition if it's a uh, section plane cut through it then you need to hatch it okay and you can finish the rest We do need to add window. So this time I'm using line, but if it was polyline, then offset will be just one click to create an entire uh, window frame kind of detail. So I created a rectangle and this inner line become gray I mean hedge layer so it's thinnest line and let's add label for this drawing it's section B and rotate and position it a little better and changed layer so it's white to control the net to, to have the right thickness now let's check the paper pa uh, space and the layer one uh, lay out one and move elevation drawing down a little bit so that everything fits in the uh, printable window okay you can extend the the model space area a little bit and then plot preview this is it